Rosemary Alvarez savors every minute with her kids. Playing ball and laughing. <laughs> For this mom, each day with them is a gift after coming too close to death last August. I thought I had the flu. I started feeling tired. But within days, this soccer coach and PTA president knew it wasn't the flu. I started feeling numbness in my, my left arm, blurred vision. I'm still smiling for my kids, but now I can't get out of bed. Two trips to the ER solved nothing. The cat scan came back normal, no problem. But her husband, George, was scared. She couldn't eat. She could barely walk to the bathroom. So I knew at that point, you know, she was de deteriorating really quick. It all came to a head on the first day of school as their kids aged 9 through 17 headed back to the classroom. Their mom was in an ambulance headed to Barrow Neurological Hospital after an MRI explained those strange symptoms. It came back, you have a brain tumor. At that exact moment where my heart fell just completely all the way down. Dr. Nakaji was expecting to find a brain tumor. He showed me the video as he operated on Rosemary's brain, carefully working, knowing this is the most dangerous spot in the human body to work next to, the brain stem. Here's the lump. And at this point, it still looks like a, a brain tumor. And so we're just opening up uh, into the inside. Of the and then the unexpected. No tumor, instead a worm. Watch as Dr. Nakaji grabs the worm and gently tugs it out of Rosemary's brain. It's still alive. You don't hear him on the tape, but Nakaji actually chuckles. Uh, which I'm sure is a very strange response for the people in the operating room, but because uh, I was so pleased to know that it wasn't going to be something terrible. This worm comes from eating undercooked pork, but more frighteningly, it can be spread by people who have the parasite in their bodies and don't wash their hands well after using the bathroom. That is the problem. And it only takes one person who um, you know, is spreading it constantly to get a lot of people exposed, and some of those people are going to go on to develop this problem. It's impossible to pinpoint exactly when Rosemary contracted this brain worm. Probably she was one of these very unfortunate people uh, who had somebody handle food for her, uh, that she ingested it and uh, it, it got to her brain. What is normally a rare occurrence has become much more common. Dr. Nakaji has removed five of them in the past few months, and other doctors at Barrow, they're seeing more of them too. I think it could be a fluke, but it does concern me that if we see more and more cases, uh, as one person is infected and starts to spread these, it spreads it to other people who become infected and then they spread it so that uh, more people are at least at risk. Meantime, George and Rosemary are stunned, relieved, and a bit creeped out by it all. It could have ate holes in her brain like a uh, apple. This whole part of my head from here to here, it's, it's numb. I, I, I just learned to live with it. Rosemary shows off the scars. I had to learn to walk, to balance. But Rosemary says the most important thing she learned is how to really live. I was so busy in life with everything else and sometimes telling my kid, okay, I'll be right there, I'll be right there, or, or hold on, and, and no, I can't right now, or no, I'm, I'm coming, I'll be right there. I'm not going to miss a, a moment that we... Tell me what's on your mind. It strengthened us again because we almost we almost lost everything. Everything fell apart. When she was gone, everything fell apart. And my kids saw how important their mother was in the house because even they were, you know, starting to take mom for granted and we pulled her out of the whole system and everything just crumbled. They hope everyone learns something from this story so no one else has to go through what Rosemary did. Wash your hands.